Oregon, everybody. What did I just say? <laughs> I don't know. I think I said hello again, everybody, but I'm not sure if that. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're heading back to the farm. Going out to start on the motors. Um, see, so uh, I guess the plan is put the rest of the Monte Carlo motor together and then start on my orange motor, draining the antifreeze out of that, and then wrap her up with cellophane and get her covered up and put away. Plug that here and I can't hardly hear. Hmm. Which kind of makes sense because I notice that anybody off my left side, I gotta turn and look at them to hear them. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll get out there and see what we can get done tonight. Okay, we got the correct push rods now, and I'm trying to find some rocker arms I thought I had, and I don't, so still stuck, but uh, that's okay. Um, I gotta do some running tomorrow. Here is the heads for the 327. They were a really nice set of heads, he said. They cleaned up nice. Probably should have kept them for myself, but 906s. There's the heads. Got the heavier springs on them now. And then we've got to use the self aligning rock arms on these. So we got that. There's the intake. I'd say it looks pretty good for what it was. So I got that, and now I got reminded about this intake. Welders right here. I gotta get in here and clean up some rot and rebuild this for them. And then get that down and get that machined and clean too. So I guess I wanna start grinding on that and I'll show you the progress with that. Well, got the Corners welded up, so now I can go uh, surface that and clean it up for that guy. Got the oxygen sensor in my daughter's car finally, so this can be marked and returned. So, yeah, and I'm figuring out he don't like the welder, so oh well. Alrighty, I'm going to get that in the truck so I don't forget it. Yeah, I did some playing around. That's some thin stuff. A little thicker. Where did it go? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Always oh, like everything else goes further than what you plan. So, um, she is cutting a lot better than what it did. So, there's some of that. So. Getting in practice. I just gotta find some safety glasses. Now smart, put the old window over top of the new window so if I had any welding splatter. So I guess. I got a machine shop said he probably had the rock arms we need for that one. And we're gonna get on that tomorrow. I gotta do some running in the morning. And hopefully be back out here tomorrow night. So I guess I didn't get as much update as I wanted done. But got the kids' car fixed. Uh, ran the uh, test and everything. O2 sensors working this time, so I'm just hoping it stays working. So somebody reminded me about that 454 intake that needed to be welded, so I got that done. I can go to the machine shop and. Oh, there, I just played with the plasma cutter and getting ready to use that because I got some work for that coming up here real quick like. So, I guess it's time to put tools away and head home and get another movie and spray for mosquitoes in here. See, they moved in while I had the door open, so. Hey, see you guys later. Sorry for another short video, but uh, the goal is that one running, that one ready to go. So... I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to try and push myself this weekend and get both motors run and broke in on the stand. So, 
Only one way to find out. See y'all later. Have a good one. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, today's not been a good day. I guess I gotta switch directions on motors. I uh, wanna start on the 327, finish that one up, cause uh, years ago it used to be I wouldn't have a problem finding the parts I need for the Monty motor. But uh, for some reason now, I um, can't find the long slot rock arms we need. And if you notice, we're in a different truck today. We got the tires fixed on the dually. But that was our deal in itself. The old boy I go to does the old boy setup with uh, um, tire repair. He's got the vulcanizing stuff in that. Um, you're like in the middle of the street, lady. Thank you. And, uh, well, the tires I picked up yesterday, uh, they, they both ended up having holes in them. Um, the one that had the bolt in them, which we knew, so that's a pretty good sized hole, so he had some rubber chunks there that he cut, stuffed in the hole, and patched it, and put the heater on there, and vulcanized it back together. Looked really good. Putting the second tire on, found a hole that we didn't know was there, so we had to do that all over again. Plus he was did two oil changes while I was there. I was there for three hours. I'm like, really guy? I don't like. Oh, but he was cheap. So hey. So then the wife and I we went and did our running and um daughter calls. Problem with her car now. I'm like, now nah, what? Well, I was at the house, went to use my snap-on scanner. Yeah, that's going back. It broke. It failed. It froze up on me. I'm like, really? Never had an issue with the thing. And today I need it. And it's down. Uh, it lost its Wi-Fi. And yesterday it wouldn't let me do the kind of component test that I was doing and something else and I but then I got it working and then now today while talking to the guy it decided to freeze up went to a white screen wouldn't do nothing at all it's like all right send her back so got all that info yeah well, I look at it this way. It's man-made. It can and will fail. Just at the wrong time today. So, anyway, uh, we're going to head out to the farm. I will go make a stop at a guy's house, pick up something, and we'll be out to the farm and try and figure out what's going on with the daughter's car. We fixed that yesterday and uh, used the scanner yesterday once I got it to work. To work on the daughter's car and it was fine so yep all right well shucks he had one long slot rocker arm he's like he doesn't know how he ended up with just one but he only had one but i just picked up a 350 steel crank for a chevrolet standard been polished it's ready to go i uh, just gotta give her good luck over and that and clean her up and I'm like cool uh, um, yeah so yeah my modus paperweight right now and that call I got when I hung up the, or got off the computer off the jeez I switched uh, uh, insulins today, and it's kind of playing with me. Um, the call I got a little bit ago, stopped to talk to him. He's like, all right. And then I was going to go meet him Monday. Well, he's like, you ain't going to find me Monday. I guess happy holidays, ever, or happy or labor. Shit. Happy Labor Day. 
Labor Day everybody early. So, the only thing I did get for the motor for the Monte Carlo was a set of poly locks. <laughs> no rock arms. So, I get to the farm, I gotta call the other place, see how much they are up there. So, oh man. And this old boy I was just at that got about the crank office, another fellow old racer I used to race against. He done gave up. He sold out. He's done. He's not going to do any more racing. And uh, I guess I just bought the last two things he had. Oil pump and a crankshaft. Uh, so, yeah. In a way, I'm kind of getting stuff built, gathered up for my 377. So, my rocker arms. Uh, well, we might have to do it some checking. Damn. Well, anyway, that's what I was leading up. I'm sorry, I'm so spacey. Guys like that used to be able... Uh, hey, bud, you got this? Yeah, come on over. So, and you used to be able to horse trade and do all that, but... You realize, when I was racing... God, this is really making me feel old. When I was racing... I've been with my wife 21 years. She got in on the last couple, so 30 years ago I was racing cars. 30, 30, Jesus. How can that be that I can talk about racing cars 30 years ago now? Wow. Where is the time gone? That just made me feel extremely old. <laughs> anyway, I'll get to the farm. Okay, well, um, I might have found some long slots. I want to compare them to... I knew I had some, but... As usual, right in front of your nose. Got parts vibrating. Son in law to be, he's out here mowing. Daughter's car. Daughter's car is parked now. Got a brand new Cadillac converter coming for that. This one is painted. I'd have her drive that one, but it's not. Um, yeah, hers smells like rotten eggs, low on power. Running like crap. Uh, put the new oxygen sensor in it last night, and that's the thing, it's not throwing no codes, no nothing. I'm like, really? So, yep, it's. Can't let the converters plugged. So, and we missed the deadline for getting it coming to, for tomorrow. So, it's gonna be Tuesday before they get it. I'm like, really? And let's see. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> and there she is. 320 or 350 steel crank. Looks pretty good yet. I haven't taken it out of the bag, so I'm gonna carry that into the shop now. So yep. Got him down there mowing. Got all these vehicles and not enough of them running. Now what'd you do? <laughs> okay. All right. uh, that's what the 327 is starting to look like. Uh, that's still on there. We just got done mowing in the dark. What we could. And I'm getting ready to get out of here. So, well, sorry about these. They're so being short and that, but 
sometimes that's all I can do. I mean, if I want to get stuff done, I got to get going. And this time I had the help, so I got going. So. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. See what tomorrow brings.